Mr. Speaker, almost a month ago, Tina Fontaine's body was found in the Red River. She was just 15 years old. This government has a responsibility to help end the violence against Indigenous women. Many have shared a, a social media campaign with the chilling slogan, Am I Next? And today, in Winnipeg, families are dragging the Red River to find the bodies of their loved ones. Canadians demand action. So the question is, why is this government failing, refusing to call a national inquiry into missing and murdered Indigenous women in our country? The Honourable Minister for the Status of Women. Mr. Speaker, these are terrible crimes against innocent people. Our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their families. The RCMP has said in its own study the vast majority of these cases are addressed and solved through police investigations. We don't need yet another study on this topic. Some 40 studies have already been completed. We actually need the police to catch the individuals who have perpetuated these crimes and make sure they're punished. Here. Here. Now is actually not the time for yet another study, another look by the lawyers. Now is the time for action, and that's what this government needs to do. Honourable Member. The Prime Minister has stubbornly refused to launch a national inquiry because, in his view, the fact that some 1,200 Indigenous women and children who have been murdered and missing is not a systemic problem. The Aboriginal communities in the provinces want to proceed, but, and you know what, they are unanimous in that view. Why are the Conservatives refusing to proceed with this inquiry? Don't they understand that they are isolated completely now? The Honourable Minister. Monsieur le Mr. Speaker, these are terrible crimes against innocent people. Our thoughts and our prayers are with the victims' families. The RCMP have said in its own study the vast majority of these cases have been addressed and are solved through police investigations. But what I will say, and I'm very proud today, our government is committed to standing up for the victims of these crimes and protecting Aboriginal women and girls. And that's why this morning I was proud to table our action plan, an action plan to address family violence and violence. 